Hello, it is Direct Mail Monday. I believe we are live on Direct Mail Monday, February 1st, 2021. And happy birthday to my beautiful wife, Michelle. Not today is not her birthday, but it is her birthday month. And so we have started to get birthday marketing arriving in the mail. I'm going to share the concept, which as always, almost always on Direct Mail Monday, everything I talk about is transferable to any way you're choosing to do your advertising, marketing, and sales efforts, online, offline, social media, over the phone, email, whatever. But I'm using examples on Direct Mail Monday from actual mail pieces that arrived in my mailbox. And so one thing is, it doesn't matter what particular day someone's birthday is, you want to group everyone you have in your database First of all, you want to collect birthdays. Find a way to collect birthdays uh, when, on an intake form, uh, when you hand out a, a free gift or for joining the VIP club. But it's not just name and email or name and address and email. Get their phone number, get, get their full mailing address, but certainly get their birthday because then you can use birthday marketing. So step one is that, get birthdays of everybody. Step two is go into your database and do a search for everybody born in a certain month. And then a week before that month is when, or a few days before, is when you're going to mail out your birthday marketing piece. So these arrive over the past week uh, when it is about to be the birthday month, February, of my beautiful wife, Michelle. And so here's a company doing it. It's a uh, local heart Hallmark store, Karen's Hallmark. And uh, here's another one coming from Macy's. So these are stores that my wife frequents and she must have signed up for their VIP program and their reminders and whatever. And she gave them their birthday. And so here is kind of an ugly one, not extremely well done, but it still works. So you see, they have this card, happy birthday, come visit us and pick up your free gift with any $5 or more purchase, plus receive $20, 20% off one full priced item. So this first one, a free gift with any $5 more purchase, not the greatest birthday gift. Hi, we're gonna give you a birthday gift if you give us some money. Um, not so great. And you see the variable printing of the strange small name in a different font and smaller than everything else. I mean, if you ask me, I would have made it the same font as the happy birthday. In fact, this whole line has plenty of room to say happy birthday and then the name of the person. And unless their name, first names, now last names, some of them can be really long, especially nowadays with the, the, the hyphen type of names can be really long. But the first names, generally not going to be too long. And if you made that font on the happy birthday just a tiny bit smaller, you could practically be assured that everybody's first name would fit on that line and it would say happy birthday Michelle in the same font but instead they've chosen to print it out there so what they might have done is gotten together uh, you know printed up five ten thousand of these cards and then individually just print Michelle right on it so the variable printing not on this side but there's variable printing on the other side because that's where you're going to print their name and address so you might as well use the variable printing there. Michelle, it's your birthday. You see, they've given themselves a lot of room in case for some bizarre reason somebody's first name is that long. Again, I would have put that all on one line. I would have put Michelle, comma, it's your birthday. All on one line. It's going to fit for almost anybody. And if you made it a slightly smaller font, it would almost definitely fit. And only in the case where it somehow didn't, well, then I would, you know, uh, or make it a smaller font or whatever, but to celebrate your February, oh, so there they are saying the date, so they do know the date in particular, who knows, let's see, I did, as usual, I fly by the seat uh, of my pants uh, on the fly with these uh, direct mail Mondays, I, I don't want to open the pieces or really even read them all over, so you can see that I'm, I'm giving my first impression of how things are and teaching some tips from it, so they do have her actual birth birthday, but they usually do say come in any time during the month. Let's see what it says. Free soap bar or hand cream with any five or more purchase. So 
Okay, so the free gift that they say here, they're putting it in particular here, very good. And again, they could print up thousands of these, but every month they could change the item based on their stock. So here they have free soap bar or hand cream this month, maybe next month it's other item they have in stock. Uh, plus 20% off a full price. Now, there it is. Present the card anytime this month to receive your free gift and discount your friends. Boom. So that's one of the things I suggest. A whole bunch of things I'm suggesting here to do it right. Uh, and one is to give them, uh, I would give a free gift without a purchase. Get them in the store. Happy birthday. Give them a free gift. It's likely, especially if they're on your list as a VIP or regular customer, or they opted in to your program or for notifications and when sales are or whatever, that they're likely not just going to come in and get the free soap bar, which is what, a buck, and then leave? Did they drive all the way over the store to go in and get one free soap bar that's a dollar or two or three dollars and walk out? If they did, you're doing it wrong because, first of all, they have to go to the back counter to pick up the birthday gifts, which means they have to walk through the whole store. And again, if they've signed up for VIP, it's likely they like the store. They're going to walk by all kinds of stuff. And they're also, if they're the right people you're marketing to, they're not takers and, 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 and you know, tire kickers and looking to take advantage of you. They're likely you're invoking reciprocity, one of the factors of influence. So you're giving them a gift. They're likely to say, Okay, I'll spend a few bucks in here. Let me buy something, which, by the way, is a reason people don't come in. Getting a little advanced there. That's a reason people don't come in and get your birthday gift. They know uh, if I go in and pick up that free hand cream, which I want some hand cream, uh, but if I go pick that up, I'm going to feel obligated to buy some. I won't walk out of there without buying less than $20 worth of stuff, and I don't really feel like doing that. Boom. So that's a reason they, but but you want to offer it free. Don't give them an extra reason to not go by saying, oh, you have to buy $5 or more. It's kind of rude. Likely they will anyway. Um, but you're going to run into some things like, oh, I only use a certain brand name of soap bar or hand cream, and maybe that's not included here. Oh, I see the pictures here. Look at that. Now I wonder, there's a brand name with an elephant on it. Can you read that? Does it come into focus? if it does. Okay, hold it longer, does it come in focus? Anyway, this is a brand name called Michelle, which I might be mispronouncing. Maybe it's fancy and it's called Michelle or something, but it's it's spelled almost the same as my beautiful wife Michelle's name. It's M-I-C-H-E-L. So to uh, hand cream or uh, soap bar conscious, uh, you know, this, these kind of items conscious uh, shoppers out there probably going, of course I know that brand. Uh, and I'm thinking that's not part of the variable printer. At first I was thought, did they actually put Michelle, the name on there, in this little thing? But it's likely that's the name of the, of the company. But otherwise it looks like, oh, and that's the brand name of all these, these hand creams. Now I can see that Elevant logo there on the hand creams. Oh, and now you can see it. Somehow now it's in focus. I'm not going to move it. There it is, Michelle. So we have the name Michelle, and then we have the logo Michelle without the E, kind of cool. And these hand creams are that, there's that logo, the elephant. So there's the brand name of the hand creams, and these must be, what was the other item? Uh, oh, soap, soap bar. So maybe these things on the bottom here are the soap bar. Anyway, so they have the picture of the item, they have the description of the item on the back. Look at that. They even have the SKUs to uh, run it through the register for your free hand cream, free soap, and 20% off an item. Um, oh, and this is smart here. They're using value set. Focus again. And the hand cream is a $4.99 value. So it's not a buck. So they're saying you get the free 5 or $6 item if you spend five bucks, it's kind of like a buy one, get one. Anyway, uh, that's their birthday marketing here. Uh, let's look at the Macy's one and see what's going on here. So again, they're using variable printing, but see here, they're doing much more elegantly. They're using the same font as the rest of that 
headline. You're in for a B-Day treat, Michelle. So it's seamless. It's all the same font. Not like the clunky way they did it on the previous piece, which was a different font for the name than everything else, making it really obvious and clunky. Uh, open for saving star passes and more star pass. That must be the program she signed up for. And what's it? Oh, and look at that. So the photo, the picture tells a thou uh, it's worth a thousand words. Happy birthday. It's time to celebrate you. Oh, star awards. So maybe that's the name of the program. So is it star pass, star awards? I don't know. But uh, there's a picture of a woman with a birthday cake and a bunch of candles smiling from ear to ear. And perhaps if they mail this out to someone they believe was a man, they put a picture of a guy. But either way, pictures of women work because guys want to look at them and women want to be them. Uh, but anyway, let's open this up. I think I need a letter opener. This should just... Oh, I see. It's kind of glued here. All right, so I ripped it a little bit. And that's what people might do. Again, flying... Uh, by the seat of my pants here, you're seeing how real reaction to the piece. I kind of tore the piece. People might do that. Just understand your your piece should stand alone, even if somebody's tearing it up and whatever. So kind of cool. It opens up into four panels. Front and back means eight. Just take off the signature panel and the photo on the back. You still got six panels to uh, tell a message here. So cue the confetti. Your special gold birthday offers inside. 3% back in rewards on Macy's purchases. That three points for every one dollar spent, a thousand points equals ten dollars star money reward. Okay, whatever. Three percent doesn't sound great, but three percent back is kind of a cool thing. It's an extra three percent discount. I guess it's extra. Oh yeah, look at that. So they're including this is cool. I felt it a little a little bulk in the piece. Uh, when I was going to open it, and this is why there were four actual plastic cards inside. I'm not going to tear this off because my beautiful life, Michelle, was nice enough to put this on my desk. But I said, oh, I got to do direct mail Monday on that right away and then get it back to her because this is her birthday gift, and I'm sure she wants to open them and look at it. But she was nice to all of you uh, and all of me to let us open it up on the fly here. Uh, and I just realized now ripping up her thing. But anyway, uh, four cards here 20 by. And do they have to buy in? And 25% off on a select regular price sale or clearance item with your Macy's card, which I'm assuming my beautiful wife Michelle has. Check your Macy's wallet. Or use this pass. Does she have a Macy's wallet? Or do? Or use this pass now through May 9th, 21. So they're giving her three months to use it. And this was probably mailed out on January 21st, giving four months to use it. What am I thinking? It's February, March, April, around the beginning of May. May 9th. Oh. It's confusing the date with the year. But anyway, I digress. So three months to use it. That's very generous for a birthday gift. And I like the, the carrying the theme through here. So they have, uh, here's the icing on the cake is your discounts and your rewards discount. Oh, and then they, they keep the theme here. Keep the party going. Can't read it because it's blurry. When you use your card at Macy's, free shipping. Oh, is that at Macy's.com or Macy's? Free shipping, no minimum, and star money bonus days. How we love you even more. Earn rewards faster on these special days, February 8th to 15th. Includes the all-important Valentine's Day, uh, big shopping day. Uh, exclusive offers, look out for bonus points offers on your fave brand. So you see the lingo there, fave brands. They're being real friendly and familiar. As they talk to my beautiful wife, Michelle, not saying your favorite brands mean all stuffy and corporate. Uh, uh, small businesses, uh, big businesses make the mistake of being stuffy and corporate. And then small business owners make the mistake of copying the big businesses, thinking, oh, they're always right with everything they do. I'll do it that way. And they end up doing a lot of stuffy and corporate stuff. This big corporation is being smart 
by being very familiar and uh, and colloquial here and saying your fave brands. Up oh, and then more carrying the theme. Have your cake and ten dollars off too. And the like the kind of celebratory uh, confetti. Oh, that's the confetti they said on the previous thing. Was like uh, what they say about confetti. Cue the confetti. You turn the page. There's the confetti. Have your cake and ten dollars off. So this one is ten dollars off your next purchase of thirty or more. So you still got to buy something with all these things. I recommend, although a big company usually has tested this, uh, but I recommend giving the free gift. In fact, for all my clients, I love to give them free gifts. Uh, however, I am not a uh, price conscious business like a retail store, retail store that's selling stuff for five bucks and three bucks and four bucks, very little margin. And maybe they've tested it and they found uh, it doesn't work to give out the free gift. When you can deliver a tremendous amount of quality and uh, results to your clients, customers, patients, members, you can put some margin in there. Use that margin. It doesn't just all go into your pocket, of course. You use that to give them birthday gifts. Also, anniversary gifts work real well. Also, a six-month half birthday works real well. So February being my beautiful wife Michelle's birthday month, well, six months later is uh, 8 August. So in August, these companies would be really smart to say, hey, it's your half birthday. Come in again for another whatever. Look, they're making money. I mean, they give a, you know, a free hand cream here. If they're selling it for five bucks, they're buying it for $1.60 or something, usually a three to one. And so then they're getting her to come in and spend $5 on something that's $1.60 cost. So they're making $1.60. Any way you look at it, they're making money. So why wouldn't they do it again and say happy half birthday? Because I'll give you a hint. She's going to get a bunch of these, plus a bunch of birthday cards from her friends and family and Facebook message and whatever, happy birthday. But almost nobody is going to wish her a happy half birthday. You could stand alone by wishing your clients, customers, patients, members, a half birthday. Almost nobody is going to be there. You'll stand out from the crowd and get their attention, and they'll like you. And uh, you can do it for anniversaries also. It could be their, their anniversary, which, again, you could ask on an intake form if it's their wedding anniversary. could be their anniversary of doing business with you. Hey, congratulate. We want to we wanna celebrate the fact uh, I get these. Uh, we got one recently from uh, Sprint. We've had our cell phone coverage from Sprint for 20-something years and 19 years or whatever it said. Wow. You know, and whenever we call customer service, it's always like, oh, wow, we want to thank you for being a long-time customer, especially in that industry where people – you know, there's a deal on TV every day. Let me switch to AT&T. Let me switch to this. Let me go get this phone, that phone. You stay with the company for a long time. They can give you some rewards. So you might want to give anniversary gifts. I love uh, my Chicagoland Sharpest Entrepreneurs Group. I was just talking to one of my clients about it. Uh, one of the techniques I use to uh, it work to attract new members as well as to keep current members staying was to celebrate people's anniversaries and give nice gifts. So people that uh, were for uh, a brand new member, I celebrated a six month member, a one year, a two year, a three year, a four year, a five year, a six year member, they all got to spin the wheel for prizes. And I, uh, for every year of their anniversary, I moved their prize up one. So if they won the lowest level prize, and they were a four year anniversary person, well, they now won the second from the best one. So they're almost guaranteed once you've been there a while, to get like a three, four, five hundred dollar nice little thing there as a gift. So I have a feeling, and the numbers showed, do your math, but people that were thinking of quitting after however many months would think, wow, if I only stay a few more months, I get a five hundred dollar gift and it's only a hundred bucks a month, gee, I might as well stay. And plus people that were new members saw people walking around and saw me celebrating. They had their their name badges saying five year member, three year member. So anyone coming and thinking, hey, I'm here on a first time free, and I'm thinking, should I join the group? Is it good? Is it not? Well, there's a whole bunch of people walking around that have been here two years, three years, five years. And I talked to that person a little bit, and they didn't seem like an idiot. In fact, they seem like a pretty sharp business person, and they've been a member of this thing for four years. So I ought to join this one. So sometimes giving out these gifts, if you really do it right, it helps celebrate not only the person receiving it, but it helps other people, like, I don't know, if somebody came over to visit, 
and saw this stuff on the counter or tacked up on the refrigerator because my beautiful wife Michelle was planning on going over there or maybe she was out to lunch with somebody she said you know on the way home I'm going to stop off at the Hallmark store because they sent me a gift for my birthday well that helps you possibly get a new customer because the person might say really that's very nice of them let me check out that store thinking they're nice people and I like the way they do business right and the last thing I'll mention about when you do it right is even if my beautiful wife Michelle does not go into the Hallmark store any time in the month to get her free hand cream or soap or whatever. And she doesn't go into Macy's over the next 90 days to have to spend money to get a percentage off. You've said happy birthday. And people like that. So even if they don't come into the store and buy the stuff, so you might think, oh, gee, we mailed out a thousand of those. Uh, and people didn't come in and redeem them. Maybe it's not working. Well, you might want to think again. Maybe it is working because it's building goodwill. And the more goodwill you have, if you're in it for the long term, and please don't watch my videos if you're in business for short term, rip off, rob people, churn and burn them. Uh, I mean, I can't stop you from watching, but I, I, hopefully you're not because I don't want to help people that run their business that way. I like to help people that are in business for the long haul. And if every year you say happy birthday, happy half birthday, happy anniversary, Merry Christmas, Happy July 4th, and you're constantly touching people and sending them real stuff, not just an email, or in addition, I live in an and world, not an or world, and I, I say all the time, there can be an email saying happy birthday, and it could say watch your mail for your gift, or it could have the same thing, and you could leave a text message and a voice message, and you know, how, how many messages do you think is too many to say happy birthday? How many times is too much to say happy anniversary, happy birthday, happy new year, Merry Christmas, happy Mother's Day, happy Valentine's Day, happy half birthday. Done right, even if they don't come into the store to get the gift, discount, whatever it is, anytime, people are likely to stay with you longer because you're celebrating the type of occasions they like to celebrate. Think about it. Their friends and family, their mom, their whoever says happy birthday. Don't you want to be in that group? Don't you want them thinking of you like, hey, all my close friends and family say happy birthday to me every year. And so does Karen's Hallmark. And so does Macy's. And so that'll do it. Let's go to see if there's any questions, comments, concerns. Uh, oh, Phil Brakefield. Always love to see you here, Phil. And Phil, great. if you don't know this guy, get to know Phil. He's super sharp marketer. I, I think his marketing acumen is only surpassed by how super a person he is but he always has great stuff to add usually reminding me of something i left out or tacking on to it and let's see what phil is going to help everyone out with here it would be cool see here you go see i missed this one and phil caught it so let's let's add it in here it would be cool if karen's hallmark had perfed or attached a custom five dollar birthday bucks bill to the card that she could spend plus the free gift exactly so kind of what i was saying i don't know if you came in late or you're just seconding it but uh yeah I, i'm not a big fan of the here's a gift but you have to give me money first it's not my kind of gift right i would give them something so if you're going to do this in addition as phil says so they have here a free hand cream but you got to pay five you got to buy something for five bucks free bar soap but you got to buy something or twenty dollars off of one item which also means you got to give them money so happy birthday, come in and give me money. It's not the best message, but adding to it a custom $5 birthday bucks bill, perfed or attached. So perf meaning perforated. So it'll be something you just tear, it could be up right up here. There's plenty of room. Oh, I'm looking at it myself. Plenty of room up here in the corner, uh, over here. So it's here, up here in the corner to perforate off, boom, boom. You move the happy birthday over a little that way. And you perforate up in the corner here, go backwards whenever it's on this camera, um, a $5 birthday bucks bill, and it's custom, which means you would variable print her name right on it again. Happy birthday, Michelle. Here's five birthday bucks to spend on anything you want in the store other than the $5 you have to spend to get your hand cream. So a little awkward when you do it wrong like this. And, and make both of these, and you make them spend money to get money. A little awkward to say, here's a free $5 birthday bucks, but that doesn't count towards the 30 or 40 you got to spend at Macy's. 
or towards the five dollars you got to spend blah 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 but i like phil's way of doing it i would give them the five dollar birthday box and i would have their uh, uh name there feb 24 i put that right on there and uh have it attached in this case it could be you know on just like these cards could be one of these cards on the inside could be birthday box oh i ripped it again honey i'm sorry uh there you go and uh i like that idea thank you phil anybody else that has any great ideas to add like that please do in a comment below otherwise i don't see any other questions comments concerns for tonight that'll do it for direct mail monday for today i'll be back again tomorrow it's topical tuesday so we'll find something going on in the news that's topical and i'll talk about business lessons from that thanks for being here today phil and everybody else catch you tomorrow over and out